Hello chat. How are we doing today? <clears throat> What's up? Pictures, water, skull, Sam. Bro, it's literally 1 11 30. Skill issue. Literal skill issue. Um yeah, it's a late stream. That's what we get around here. I haven't streamed in a while. And usually when I don't stream in a while, um, I try and just play a game and don't really it's gonna be a chill stream there's not gonna be much uh besides just you and me talking about shit because i don't even have a face cam or anything we're just literally just turning this off turning this off nope not that sorry turning this off moving you guys up here and that that this is what it's gonna look like here it is Just a chill scream. We'll talk about some stuff. Um, so anything you guys want to know. Because it's, it's been a while since I streamed. But we'll try. I'll give you guys. We'll talk about some stuff that's happened in the Ballast Line community since I last streamed. But we will save like all official discussion for a future stream where I actually. Oh, I don't know. Stream. <laughs> Thinking about getting my dad to order me an Orion 1.5, would you recommend? Uh, nothing I would recommend more at that price point, unironically. The Orion is incredible. All chill vibes? Hell yeah, dude. So I have finished three Eclipse levels on all characters, you can see because they're all gold. And now it's time to play my first Eclipse 4. Which increases enemy speed by 40%, which is going to suck. Who am I going to pick for this challenge? Um... I feel like Gunner could be good, because she, she's powerful, but she gets easily overwhelmed with fast enemies. I don't want someone who's just going to make it super easy. Yeah. Actually no, we'll do we'll do bandit. We'll do a bandit run. Best damn EDC got a Sonora posted a short about it today. He was impressed, which makes me ever more excited. Machine wise is crushing it with the Sonora. I haven't heard a bad thing about the damn thing. Any chance you're gonna try a hydro anytime soon? I wouldn't hold my breath, brother. If I can't even check out the cheap stuff like the Zenith Trainer, then there is no shot I'm gonna be checking out the $400 titanium live blades. Obviously anything can happen. There have been plenty of times in the past when I said I wasn't going to check something. Wow, I'm dumb. When I said I wasn't going to check something out, and then Ted sends me something the next week. But I don't hold your breath. Dean Trainer goes hard, though. I'm sure it does. I just haven't... I haven't had the want to check it out. I tried it at Blade Show. It was mid as hell. I'm not a huge fan of Flytanium in general. Their products don't really wow me usually, so... I've just been prioritizing other stuff. Besides, it's not like we're running out of content on Blade Bias. <laughs> With Ty uploading lately, all the stuff I have to check out still. It doesn't really feel like enemies are faster, I'm going to be honest. I also have no items. Where are my items at? What up, Shameful? So good to have more tie vids. Yeah, it's, it's been nice. Obviously, I don't know how long it'll last. I imagine it'll stop once he sends the package that I sent him back. But, I don't know.
Oh, I need that. I'm just shocked the package even, like, made him want to upload it all in the first place. I really did. I really thought he was just gonna, like, open it, flip everything for two seconds, and just put it away. Honestly. <laughs> Battle songs you sent him look so small in his hands because he's he's a big dude. He's a tall dude. You're used to seeing him in a, seeing them in my tiny hands. Now you see him in Ty's hands. Ty's like, God, I swear Ty's like eight inches taller than I am. Also, the stuff I sent him is technically small. Al is like a slightly small battle song. The Orion, I think, is a little small. I could be wrong. He did buy an Al. He just uploaded a comparison video with his new Al today. I didn't watch it yet, but I think his conclusion was that the titanium doesn't really make a difference, which I can't really say I disagree with because I've never tried one, but I feel like... I feel like you should be able to tell the difference between the two. So I'm wondering if it's maybe just because he hasn't been in it as much. Oh my god, it's Brandon Baker. It's been 84 years. Yeah, I said I was going to stream over break, and then I just didn't. I don't think I did a single stream over break, and break was two weeks ago now at this point. His last week was extremely hectic for me, so there's no stream during that. He said he can't really tell flipping-wise. I do sort of feel like in a more... In a, in a flipper's hands who's a little more in tune with stuff, they'd be able to tell. But that's just my opinion. Oh my god, it's Pyro 2? What I'd be interested in with the Titanium L is uh, test at holy shit, that sucks, but okay. Oh no, Brain Stocks, wait, is really good with Desperado, holy shit. Um, I'd be interested to try out the Titanium I Weights with the Steel End Weights, because I want like an in-between between the Steel I Weights and No I Weights. You see how many people Squid is sponsoring back to back? Yeah, didn't they just announce dub mode today? They're going on a tear. How big is the Squid Squad at this point? Like it's it's massive, isn't it? What up, cabbage? Break hasn't even started yet. My break's already over. I just didn't stream over... I didn't really... I'm going to be honest. I didn't do much of anything YouTube over break, even though I really wanted to. Because I got sick. I got sick to the point where I, like, didn't want to be on camera recording stuff, but, like, not sick enough to just be bedridden all day. So it was, like, this really weird in-between. Oh yeah, and Zippy's an official... There's a lot of stuff to talk about in, like, our actual, like, return Balasung stream. Zippy's an official Squid distributor, which is crazy. You can just buy, like, a fully configured Zippy product. I think it's just the Kraken Trainer for now, but he did say it was... He was, like, a distributor, which means... Yeah, look at this. We can just chain Desperado back-to-back -back with Brainstocks. That's crazy. He did say he was an official distributor, which leads me to guess that more will be available in the future. Obviously, I don't know that. Hello, Susan. How you doing? Who's <clears throat> coming to the Anime Con in Washington? Oh, cool. Squid Squid loves to go to, like, anime stuff. Yeah, there, there's a lot to talk about. Also, you know, the fact that I haven't streamed in two weeks kind of helps with having stuff to talk about. So I'll have to make a list. And what did I scrap for? Oh, right. 
By the way, did I overhype the Baikal from you? No, no, you didn't. Uh, the Baikal is good. It just... So the Baikal video... Wait, what? Oh, did I have three scrap? I guess I did. I'm not going to print all into watches. It'd be stupid. Um... So what happened with the Baikal is I got caught up in my camera failing and me losing my first take of my actual first impressions. And then also, like, people hyping it up, people saying all this stuff like, oh my gosh, it's like machine-wise level tolerances, which already made me a bit sus, because I was like, I don't think we're getting machine-wise tolerances out of China. But the biggest thing is just I have zero trust for the company that makes the Baikal which definitely didn't help my excitement to talk about it, I guess you could say. So it's not that it was overhyped, it's just that there were a lot of other factors that I was too preoccupied with. I've been flipping it the past few days, like, almost non-stop, and it is, it is a good battle song, objectively. Also, I was really, really... Uh, really, really out of practice with flipping, so flipping in general just felt weird to me in the Baikal video. Oh, I'm just one-shotting these guys. Oh, of course I am. I have 40 Desperado stacks. That's why we like Bandit. I gotta take care of some of these guys in the sky. Need some AI. I almost said I need some AI. Oh my god. No, I need some AoE. Okay, so far Eclipse 4 is feeling okay. The 40% move speed on enemies isn't awful if you have a, have a speed item or two. I feel like you get overwhelmed in the later stages though, so I'll have to, I'll have to clutch up. Yeah, Sam, I saw that handle. I pfft, I don't know how you snap an aluminum handle like that just by pulling on it with a pivot still in. That's crazy. Trying to buy a beater, should I buy the canyon? It's probably the best beater you can buy for the price. Just speaking candidly. It's going to hold up okay as long as you're okay with the handle gap maybe disappearing in the future. I didn't get blue portal and I'm also 10 minutes on stage one. That's not good. Um, I was curious, Prisma Pro or Superfly? I know it's really unfair. I'm deciding what to get. I'd probably go with the Superfly. You just get better. Can you even buy a Prisma Pro right now? Last I checked, you couldn't. Later pictures of a good one. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, Machine Wise has been out of stock for a little bit. What do I want there? I don't even know. any of this. I already have guaranteed crit. I should have taken the guaranteed crit. Or I should have taken the crit. Oh no, that would have been death. So it looks like we can get three, maybe four Desperado shots off. Yeah, it looks like three with brain stocks. I don't care about handle gap. Yeah, then go for the go for the canyon. Turn valid. Yeah, I, the bike cow is definitely good. I'm just dealing with a lot of stuff outside of it. Um, got a lot of collabs coming up. Ooh, pog. I'm excited to see him. I, 
think I'm finally feeling back to the point where I can start recording stuff again, so I need to get going on main channel stuff again. My voice still doesn't sound completely normal yet, though. Yeah, the Orion's good. Pyro, I was surprised you said that the trainer is, like, better than the... Said the trainer was better than the live blade, which surprises me because I really like the live blade. I'm a dip, love your vids. Appreciate it. Have a good one. Remove speed. These blind pests are annoying on this. We'll say that. Also, Pyro. <laughs> God. Um, sorry for, like, low-key calling you out in the Baikal video. I didn't mean to call you out. I more meant that you were critical in a way that other people really aren't in this community when you're talking about... Uh, like, you're viewing Ballast Length and stuff, which is a good thing. You're certainly more critical than I am, in a lot of ways, which is good. I don't think that's a bad thing. More neutral carries more momentum overall. I was going to send you my Orion Trainer, wasn't to try to send it nicely with your knives. I didn't want to bug you with it. Uh, it, it's interesting that you say it's more neutral, because the Orion, the Live Blade already feels fairly neutral to me. I get a massive ego boost when I hear my name in a video. Noted. <laughs> I do too. I feel ya. Actually, speaking of hearing your name in a video, I saw some kid posted... I don't know how I missed this for so long, but someone posted a, like, like a, a review of the first ever Bally Awards. And it was such a funny video, because the dude was like, yeah, Squid definitely got special treatment. Brother, how? I love accepting criticism, but like, <laughs> what do you mean they got special treatment? The community fucking voted. Where's that at? I'd love to see it. I don't even remember, Pyro. If you look up Bally Awards and just scroll down far enough, you might find it. That's how I found it. Is there something over here? No. Joking about ego boosts. It's okay. I always get a little happy tingle if someone mentions me in a video. Was it titled Bally Awards kind of sucked? Yeah, that video. I don't know how I missed it for so long. But it was funny because it was like, yeah, it sucked because... I think he said the Squid Trainer shouldn't have won Most Improved because, like, the Squid Trainer isn't on bushings. And I was like, my brother in Christ, that's the reason it won the award, because it now has bushings. <sighs> Obviously, everyone is free to have their own opinions. I'm just a bit confused by some of the points. <laughs> No, the Orion definitely punches way above his weight class. <laughs> I mean, is it? It's a good question. Wait until that dude finds out about this year's Bally Awards. Oh no. Wow. I... 
fucking... That was a crazy chant shrine. Gas and ignition tank in the same one. That's wild. Okay, I need to leave. This is so bad. It's so Jover. Wait, what's Jover? Oh, no. Oh, no. I fucked myself. I might be dead. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, if he sees recent Pally Awards. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be tough to explain. Well, I mean, in reality, it'll be really easy to explain because, you know, I didn't do shit. I think the Squid Trainer genuinely deserved most improved. Like, taking the Squid Trainer from washers to bushings, adding jimping without upping the price basically at all. That is an impressive amount of work to do to a Balasong, especially from someone like Squid. AOE we wanted. We got that fucking damage too, holy shit. Oh my god. That's the power of 47 watches for you. Later, Skull. Good luck on your push-ups. 100 push-ups before bed. I should start doing that shit. I need to get back to the gym so bad. The Saitama Regiment. One hundred push ups, one hundred sit ups. And what does he jog a hundred miles every day? One of those things is not like the other. Unless that's just genuinely not it. What are you doing, Ethan? You just kill yourself? You would have if you didn't have that fucking uh, opal. Good job. 100 push ups, 100 set ups, 100 squats, and a, oh, a 10 kilometer run every day. Okay. Casual six and a half miles every day. That's nothing. One of those things is still not like the other. Bought a pink Orion, very excited. Congrats, dude. Uh, brain code. I don't want any of this. Are you going to send your nemesis back to Garrett? Probably not. My nemesis is fine. I mean, let's see if it... It does have tap, actually. But I got my nemesis uh, tuned when I sent it to Solaire. He tuned it, and he did a pretty good job, and it's held up fairly okay. So I don't know. Maybe I will, but at the same time, I'm also considering selling my nemesis V2, so I don't really... I'm not really prioritizing it.
Is what we have to do to get spawn credits. I didn't know Desperado had a range. hitting me. Vortex is rusted on the edge of the trainer after three months. Kind of disappointing. What are you... Do people always blame, like, they go like... I know this isn't what you're doing, but people are always like, oh my god, my blade rusted. How could X company let this happen? And it's like, you know it's not the company's fault that the thing rusted, right? What's up, applesauce? Yeah, Garrett's sick for doing that. I really appreciate a maker who takes the time to... to go back and take care of customers who bought something that he doesn't even make anymore. Granted, only, what, 30 of them exist, so there is a hard cap on how many people are going to send it to them. watches. How long have you been flipping for? Check the description, my brother. Got all the answers you can need down there. Uh, if we find an equipment drone, I'll give it Prion. Actually, you know what? I have damage. I just want to leave. Uh, this run's already taking. I'm already behind schedule, so... Holy mother of God. The drone blocked my shot. Okay, this build is crazy. I could actually probably just speed run to Mythrix and be fine. But I'm not going to do that because that's... We're not loadout racing, we're playing Eclipse. I guess loadout racing is also technically playing Eclipse, but whatever. No, I get you, Sam. It just sparked a different tangent in my mind. I'm sorry yours rusted. No, you're good, Skull. 
it takes literally no time at all for me to say, oh, I've been flipping since August of 2021, but I always try and direct people to the FAQ so that people realize that it's there. Because me telling you to look there might cause someone else to look there, which gets their answer, their answer question, dear God, gets their question answered and the whole loop. You know what? We're taking the prion. I'll find an equipment drone eventually, I'm sure. God, I should have taken the watch, but I don't... These watches are going to break, and then my whole build's going to be dead. <laughs> Damn you, game. Never complain about watches, but if these break, then... <laughs> not looking good. I feel like there wasn't very much loot this stage. Am I crazy for that? Hey, have a good one, Shreds. Sleep well, sleep well. Excited to see more main channel content. Uh, I mean, still hold your breath a little bit. I am me, after all. I'm incredibly lazy, but... We're trying for it. We're trying for it. Didn't even realize you're alive right now. Yeah, I don't usually announce the gaming stuff because people don't. People don't care. Uh, yes, please. I mean, some people care, but the people who care probably already have notifications turned on. So. Book? No. no. I'll take Focus Crystal. Also, what up, Reese? How you doing? Oh, that's... Oh, that's incredibly scary. Fuck. Nope, 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 nope. Not dealing with that. God, I should have. I probably should have been corrupted by that. Touch bosses are fucking terrifying. No, oh, don't void touch my drone. Fuck you. Literally, all the channels I've set to send me notifications as soon as possible are all the Battle Song channels I watch. Nice. I think that's mostly the same for me. I'm such a lazy uh, viewer because I don't, like, whenever I subscribe to people, I never check my subscriptions tab. I literally only see what comes up in the algorithm, so su subscribing to me is, like, pretty much useless.
And Polly Luke goes crazy. Nothing to shoot. I usually just subscribe for support. But I, I honestly think if you go on my YouTube channel, or not my YouTube channel, if you go into my YouTube subscriptions right now, most of the people that I actively watch, I might not even be subscribed to. <laughs> I'm such a bad YouTube viewer. Oh, thank God for hard light. Cave has to be open with how little we found. Yes, it is. Chat, who you been watching in the Balasun community recently? You know it's you know it's a good run when an elder Lemurian spawns in front of you in a cave and you don't even flinch. We'll buy that. Credit card? Okay shit. Real shit. Missile drone, yeah. Man, not much loot in the cave. What the fuck? Please. Kind of a disappointing hell, honestly. Been enjoying Pyro's vids lately? Dude, Pyro's been crushing it lately. I actually find myself eagerly awaiting Pyro videos as well. I was really waiting for his video on the bike haul. Imagine we got Shatter Splain. This would have just taken us to a thousand. That's not a Hermit Crab. Where's the Hermit Crab at? Right there. Watching Pyro and Denden a lot. Yo, Brand is Brandon in here? Dude, what the fuck? 
Why the fuck did I get a 45 minute video on my timeline today comparing the vault and the canyon? I I have a lot to say about battle songs, but I don't think I could just riff for 45 minutes about a single topic like that. That's crazy. Is there a green printer on the stage? I don't remember. I'd really like to use my two regen scrap, get two extra items, maybe? Oh, FMP. It would go crazy if I had more ignition tanks. Fuck you. No scrapper, no green printer. That's not great. Actually, there might have been a green printer. I honestly didn't take too much time to look. Well, that sucks. But I'll sleep in the bed that I created for myself. Mostly because he's fucking dead already. <laughs> and now I have six grand to work with. for a green printer and a scrapper. Okay, we got the scrapper. Yeah, Pyro's a very good flipper. I like Pyro's style a lot. What's up, Max? How you doing? James is up. Wow, that's crazy. Don't you got early classes tomorrow, boy? Oh, okay. You see how bad Kumi's Hydro binded both handles? Dude, Kumi... I hate to say this, but Kumi has, like, such hilariously bad luck that I almost have to wonder if they're doing something wrong. <laughs> Like, Squid is inconsistent. But that's the thing, is that they're inconsistent. They don't constantly deliver bad products. Where did I drop my fucking credit card? I didn't even mean to do that. I just did it out of habit. Is that it? There it is. Ooh. I need this still. I'm still looting. Case in point. Ew. 
Red weapon ignition tank. Hell yeah. Should have taken that FMP, I guess. Kumi's becoming my favorite battle song YouTuber, honestly. I need to binge Kumi's backlog. I've been missing out. Oh, there's Pillar Skip. Oh, no, I had wings. I'd rather have wings. And let's just do this now. Fuck it. Because it's going to be a singular grandparent. I can just go Tweedledee, Tweedledum, you're fucking dead. See you later, See you later idiot. <laughs> Actually, a fucking wild run. This is crazy. I got AOE. I got single target. Something's missing in this live stream. What, my face? Eh, my face is too lazy to set up my face. Plus, when I don't stream in a while, I like to have, like, a, like a come back to chat. Get back into the live streaming mindset. It's honestly kind of nice to stream without a face cam. I'm not even going to lie. I know it's, like, worse because the community, the community, the viewers don't have anything to latch on to. But it is, so, it's so nice having access to my phone. And, like, just not having to worry about facial expressions or if I'm doing my dumb focusing face or anything like that. Game looks super fun. This is Risk of Rain 2. And it is super fun. Okay. Do not let me forget this chat, please. Dex cam where should I should have done a dex cam? It's actually smart. Problem with your concentration face? Uh, it was bad. People are self-conscious of their of their concentration face. That's why everyone hides their face in clips. It also just kind of takes less energy to stream without a face cam. Got another band. Okay. Now oh, this run's looking sick. What are we scrapping? I don't need shurikens. We can make it bald. No. I want a harpoon. I should run modded when I'm streaming to speed this shit up. I got a lot of stuff to scrap. Is there a key somewhere on this stage, or did I get the key from this stage?
Faster scrappers goaded. I usually don't like it just because scrapping is just like a nice downtime in the run, but when you're streaming, you don't want this downtime. Streaming, I can definitely get why someone would wanna wanna mod this out. Uh, we don't need our war horns. Do I need seven shorms? Let's be real. How did I even get seven shorms? Okay, what am I looking at? 12 green scrap, 3 regen scrap, so it's 3 red items. I need to scrap one more white item. What do I not want? What do I not want? Uh, let's just get rid of the fucking... The stun grenade. Is it annoying to get ballast on questions while you're streaming games? No, go for it. I would rather get ballast on questions when I stream games just because I can play the game to have a bit of a distraction. Oh, we almost forgot. Pick up that thing. Thanks, Sam. Um, did you end up grabbing a glider Pacific? I did not, no. No, I won't be picking up any ballast songs for the near future. Once tax season is over, then we'll get back into buying stuff for the channel. Oh, I probably should have scrapped brain stalks too. Shit. I thought it was the only red that I had, but I have hard light as well. And I don't want to lose that if there's a good white soup. Yeah, I guess we're just stuck with green socks. Let's just hope there's not a good white soup. Is that a perfected? Of course it is. fucking terrify me. I lost probably one of the best runs I've ever had. Well, not one of the best runs I've ever had, but I lost a really fucking good, like, unlosable run to a perfected wisp. Oh, and there's another one. So we can really get in Australia, so when they get stock, I kind of jump, kind of jump on it, but it's super new, I feel like it's wasted on me. I'm super new, I feel like it's wasted on me. No, it's never wasted on you if you're new. It just means that you get a better experience off the bat, which is always a good thing. Wow. Wow, there's just nothing that's like even remotely good that's crazy
This is literally useless. Both of the, all the greens here are literally useless. Upload my first va ramble video I posted Discord General. Uh, don't do that, please. Self promo exists for a reason. That's the one channel that I tell people to. The one channel that I'm strict on people adhering to is self promo. But uh, I'm glad you you uploaded a ramble vid. Okay, let me check up on chat. Has anyone seen anything about the new Flip Forge Battle song? I don't think he's posted anything since, no. Um, trying to figure out chaplains as soon as I get any speed, it goes flying. I'm wondering if we need more or less handle weight. If it goes flying when you need speed, you need more handle weight, you need to do bigger circles. If it goes flying, if it spins out, it means you're going too fast. You need to either widen the circles or slow the chaplain down. Extra handle weight can help with that, but it depends on distribution. Posted a self promo. Thanks, Doc. Appreciate it. Stack Desperado before I came up here. Ooh. Stack Desperado off these guys. So I have eight charges of invisibility. And just be invisible all the time. dodging. Ow. I'm 
Unfortunately, no phase four skip, which is kind of scary given my items, but I'm sure we'll be fine. longer than expected I'm really out of shape. Hey, you still did it though. Now you can do 100 setups. Good luck, sir. Good luck, soldier. Okay, I just wanted those plasma shrooms back. That's all I cared about. GG. Might have the longest ramble video about in existence at a whopping 38 minutes. Um, <laughs> Brandon literally beat you to the punch earlier today. Plasma is my favorite item in the game. I think I like ATG more, like just off the fact that it, it just does. If you stack it, it does fucking damage. But like plasma shrimp is definitely one of the most satisfying items to get. Because it's just a free, like, what, 30% extra damage? Is there a cap on how many Balasongs one should own? Unless you're a collector, I firmly believe that you should own whatever... You think Plimp has a nice noise? That's the first time I've ever heard that, unironically. Plimp is, like, the bane of the community. Um, but I think, I think unless you're a collector... Which, like, collecting's valid, for sure. I really don't think you should have more Balasongs than you're flipping. Like, I know that's gold coming from me, but, like, I can't sell some of the Balasongs that I have. Because they were given to me for free. So, like, if I wasn't a content creator, I would have sold off a... Like, let's say I'm not a content creator and I have my collection. I think two-thirds of my collection gets sold off because I just don't flip them enough. Oh, that was the joke. Okay. People usually come in here and don't know anything about Risk of Rain, like, whatsoever. So I always take comments just as if they don't know what the game is. So a comment like that could have been legitimate. BG, first Eclipse 4 run. That was not as difficult as I thought it was going to be. Granted, it's just move speed. Like, who cares about move speed? I was a collector until I got my Seraph. I don't get collecting. Like, I get having collection pieces. Like, my Damascus Kraken is definitely a collection piece. But, the dude who showed up to Blade Show and had, like, a car's worth of Balasongs, like, that's crazy. Having Balasongs that are so expensive that you can't even think about flipping them, like, that's wild to me. One down, 12 to go. I'm going to quit Risk of Rain. I'm not done. I wanted to stream until 2. So I think I'm going to do something controversial. I'm going to boot up my Switch. Uh, projector. No, I don't want a projector there. No, I want a preview. Onto my main display. There we go. Splatoon 3. I could do Splatoon 3 or Pokemon Unite. Or I could do... Oh, let's just do both. Are you kidding me? All right, chat. We'll wait for that. You gonna go to Blade Show this year? Uh, yeah, hopefully. 
I don't have I have soft plans to go. I don't have hard plans yet. Should I buy a Kraken Trainer or a Nauta Nautilus? Uh, whatever one you like the look of better. God, I was really I wasn't I wasn't vibing with Will when he made that video when he was like, yeah, I just tell people to buy what they like the look of. I was like, that doesn't seem like great advice. Uh, just because like. You don't know. You don't know what they're going to like. What if they get something that they like the look of, but they don't like enjoy how it flips. I have come around on that so much. I just tell people to buy what they like the look of now. The look like, like, like how it looks. <coughs> why did Jack grant a, why did Jack grant up the Medusa price? Why did Grant Jack up the Medusa price? I have no idea. I mean, Blade Steel. The Blade Steel is part of it, but the problem with that is that people are always going to see the Medusa as like a four or five hundred dollar Balasan. So I don't think that that. I don't think that that's ever not going to shock someone. Oh wait, you guys are hearing double. I'm so sorry. I don't think like you're ever gonna... <laughs> I don't think there's ever gonna be someone who isn't shocked by the fact that it's $600, $700 now. Kind of lagging for me. I don't know what's going on. The team rerun for Splatfest keyboard baby against my against my will though, so I can't like fully claim that I'm a winner. I wanted to do guitar obviously because you know. Um, but my friend group wanted to do keyboard, and I wanted to play with them, so I had to do keyboard. I'm so fucking hilariously bad at this game now. I used to be okay at it. Upgrading blade shield, steel should never be a 250 increase. I don't care what blade steel it is. Um, I don't. That's the thing. That's the only upgrade that I know. There's probably others. I tend to agree with you, Sam. I like the Impusa. I like the Medusa. I don't really see a world where I would pay 750 for them. I'm gonna be honest. Like, I would so much rather get a Nami or a Seraph or an Opus, even. Is the game too loud for you guys? He got rid of the cool looking- wait, he got rid of his pivots? Oh dude, I feel like the Medusa, like part of the Medusa's identity is those pivots. A little loud? Got you. I got you. The problem is when I turn it down for you, it turns it down for me because of how I'm how I'm capturing this. And it was perfect before, but okay. Yo, watch out for that little bomb, bro. Fucking snipers, man. <laughs> Kinda sad all machine-wise stuff is out of stock right now. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. 
I mean, I would imagine they're just kind of building up stock of the Sonora right now. But I thought they're—I thought the Sonora didn't share machines with a lot of their other products, so I—I I don't actually know if that's the case. It's like the Prisma. I would imagine. I think I'm trying to remember Will's video that they did. Doesn't the Prisma run on its own machine? Not a dually user, fuck. I say that as a dually user. Get fucked. I think he's catching up on pre-order for the Sonora. That's the thing though, like if... I thought the Sonora was on its own machine. That's why the Slifties were gone, but like I don't know why the Prismas are gone. Unless they're just trying to get all their assembly techs to just be focused on the Sonora pre-orders. I don't know, I'm literally just speculating. Is it crazy? I've never seen Splatoon gameplay until now. Ah, uh, no. I think Splatoon is objectively the more popular game than Risk of Rain, but I'm always more surprised when people don't know what Risk of Rain is for some reason. Did I get a single kill that game? I got one kill that game. I'm horrendously bad at this game now. This is crazy. Um, it's kind of crazy that Squid is charging 270 for a Live Blade Kraken. You think that's crazy? I think we have different definitions of crazy. China has absolutely ruined the Balasun community's view of value. I mean that in the nicest way possible. Medusa has a collar for the pivot and machine wise hardware. Oh shit. Damn, those old pivots were iconic. What weapon are you using? This is the M NZAP 89. Which I used to use all the time in Splatoon 2, but it was never in this game, but apparently they added it back. I hate this alt so much, though. I don't remember what the old end tap alt was in Splatoon 2, but I know it was better than this. He's using 83, it has a good ult, I think. I didn't see any end zaps that had a crazy ult. I was never a huge fan of the of the original end zap. I don't remember what year it was. The original end zap is like the cooler. I was never a huge fan of that ult. My friend loved it, so I would run it to play support for him, but I never liked using it on my own. Yet to even get a kill with the ult, which is sad. Compared to LDY, who's only charging 85 for something very comparable to the Kraken. Exactly. China is ruining the Balasong's community the Balasong community's idea of value. The Orion is not the rule, it is the, the exception. Never forget that. No way my aim is this bad. There's no way. Okay. It wasn't even my kill. That sucks. This is what you get when you don't use a controller for over a year. Goddamn. damn. 
Like, do we live in a world where people are starting to call the Kraken bad value? That's crazy to me. Not the sniper again. God damn it. Entire knife community is taking the hit. I mean, it's good that it's good that they're driving down prices, but at the same time, people should not be looking at the Orion and saying LDY can do that. Why can't everyone else? I think the the Orion is concerningly cheap. Paid 270 for a Tonto V3 crack and it was binding out of the box. I had to defeat the squid red locks. I cleared it in order to get good handle swing on a 270 knife. I agree with you. You shouldn't have to do that. But I'm talking about the Kraken as a... Like, Squid's QC is not great. We've been over that. Community as a whole has been over that a lot. But I mean the, the Kraken as a knife. Assuming everything's good on it like it used to be. It's, I don't think you can say it's a bad value. You can say it's not a great value. Fine. Whatever. But like Nab with Nabali's release in the canyon, LDY with the Orion, people are getting a really warped view of like value. Forgetting that all these Chinese ballasongs are made in massive factories. With probably deplorable working conditions. <laughs> Unless LDY is a garage shop, but I, I doubt they are. You don't really... That's that's why it's so tough to trust Chinese companies, because they're so nebulous. You don't know anything about them. Like, machine-wise, I can point and say, hey, they have a machine shop, they have this many people working there. Here's what it looks like. Here's what they kind of... Here's what they're doing. China? No shot. Vault Pro Live Blade's an insane value? That's the first time I've heard that take, I think. <laughs> Squid sure does have 10 out of 10 balance. You're so right about that. Every single one of their products actually has 10 out of 10 balance. Except the plastic stuff, of course, which is only a 9 or an 8. I can't believe someone looked at the OG Squiddy and said, yeah, that's an 8. Yeah, this thing's balance is well above average. I know I'm biased against the Squiddy because I don't like it, but goddamn. Yeah, the QC isn't great. I would love to see the QC improve on Squid. But at this point, I'm just happy they're still making Balasongs. Balasong community, I think, is in a stressful time, to say the least, with all the cheap Chinese Balasongs coming out, with how little some companies are moving product. Wow, what a snipe. Constantly see questions about the Discord about what knives are similar to the Orion in the price range. Yeah, because there aren't any. The Orion is amazing, and you definitely should buy one, but like, the Orion is the exception. It is not the rule. My game is lagging so bad right now, I don't know if you guys can see it. I got, like, fucking 20 FPS. Oh, no, you don't. No way my aim is that bad. Holy shit. Just finished my 100 setups, now for 100 squats. Oh, he's actually doing the Saitama. Squiddies are fun, but not $60 worth of fun. Um, I think the Squiddy B lineup, you could argue that it is worth it. But the OG Squiddy, I wouldn't. God. 
I think the OG- Wow, I'm so terrible. I think the OG Squiddy just straight up sucks. It's like the one high profile battle song I can think of that you can't fan on. Did Squid not ship to Australia? We got destroyed. I had four kills that game. Actually almost went even instead of negative. I wish my game wasn't lagging so bad though. <laughs> You think the Prisma V2 or the Prisma Pro flips better? I like the Prisma V2 just because it's ever so slightly less handle bias. Take the screws out of a Prisma Pro, that's how the Prisma V2 flips with the screws in, just without the momentum that the screws provide, if that makes any sense. It's the same balance, it's not the same momentum profile. Fucking crab tank. Easiest battle song to learn on. Um, man, that's a tough question. I would say. Wow, what a legitimately tough question. Holy shit. Fuck you. The fact that yellow isn't in danger yet means that they are in our base doing the same thing that I'm doing. Oh no, they are in danger. Okay. What's up, Jacob? How you doing? Allison to learn on. You want something handle biased, but you don't want something too handle biased because you want to be able to learn everything. I'd probably say something basic like a Kraken trainer. Kraken Trainer or the Orion, probably. Damn. No, I wouldn't say Squiddy L. Squiddy L's balance is too weird for me to say it'd be easy to learn on. I struggle with the Squiddy L's balance sometimes. And also, it doesn't chaplain well enough. You need a good chaplain, which is why I don't say Vault. 
I think the Orion's the most universal thing that you can get at the price point, but like if we're talking any price point, definitely something like a Kraken. Damn, I tried to get my ult in last second. Oh, gosh. Point five. How the fuck did we just... Did, did you just see that? Did we just fist bump? How the fuck did that happen? Alright, I'm gonna do one more game of Splatoon, then I'm gonna switch games. I'm only gonna stream for another, like, I don't know, 20 minutes. I don't wanna be on too long, but I can be up kinda late tonight. I don't have school till 12 tomorrow. 30 actually. Oh, 2 a.m. Good night, Sublime. Have a good one. Cousin's learning on a rep trainer clone right now. That sounds pretty good. Alright, I don't need to sit here and listen to it. What's the fucking. What are the maps? Bluefin and Mincemeat. I want to play in the plane, the plane map. They added a plane map that looks like Terminal from Modern Warfare 2. Let me play on that. Yeah, Squid's... Squid needs to tighten up their press fits a little bit. Your Kraken pins are falling out? I don't think I've ever heard of a Kraken with pin issues. And again, I've heard of a lot of things in my time in the Battlestone community, so I probably just forgot. Where's the other team at? Oh, there it is. I cannot believe I did not kill him quicker. Oh, he's the one that killed me too. Damn. Okay, we're getting it back. We're getting the Splatoon back a little bit. Crazy because Platoon 1 had a map.
All right, I'm, I need to catch up on chat. I'm sorry, guys. Um... <laughs> I'm watching your videos. You made me want an Orion so badly. The Orion's amazing. Yeah, the Vault, vault Zen pins are not... I want to do one more because that barely was even a game. That team didn't feel very good. Um... The vault pins are not, not press fit. They're glued in at the factory, which is why they fall out so much. But it also makes it easier to fix. You can't just glue in, I mean, I guess you can glue in Zen pin or press fit pins, but it is difficult if they fall all the way out. Vault Pro Blade on Kraken Handles. That's crazy. Ooh, I like this color. What a fucking flick. Holy shit. Is there a disadvantage to screw in Zens compared to Zet Prestit? Um, screw in Zens are just annoying. Because they can unscrew themselves. Yeah, they come loose, they fuck up your tolerances. Jesus Christ. Is this guy just gonna sit here the whole time doing this? I should have just ended on the stomp that we had and called it a night. First platoon. They're all snipers? There's no way. Oh no, there's just two. I'm dumb. Yeah, they also... I'm pretty sure my serious V2... My Serious V2 would bind up if you tighten the Zen pins down too much, which is crazy considering it was a channel design. Fuck. I'm not getting fucking sniped. Go away. Okay, I ask and I receive. Yeah, there's nothing I can do. Maybe I distracted the sniper enough for my team to take the other side. Yeah, Blade Show's gonna be hype this year. 50 to 40. Cute secretary. Alright. That does it for Splatoon. I'm gonna play one or two matches of Pokemon Unite because I am hopelessly addicted to that game. 
and then I'm going to call it a night. Splatoon went better than I thought it was going to, given the games that I've played in the past few days, but... Yeah, Blade Show's super sick. Help you build up your bank of, uh, of flipping knowledge. It was addictive when it came out, but quickly went back to League. I'm not, a, I can never be able to play League. <coughs> I'll never be able to play a MOBA where you don't have direct control of your character. I don't want to be clicking around. I'm literally just playing this game until Gigantic comes out, and then I'm probably never going to touch it again. And then I'll grind Gigantic. Okay, chat, it's time for our gambling. What are we going to try and go for today? This game is so fuck. I hate this. You know what? No, I'm not. I'm. I'm just gonna go for it, and I'm not gonna get it like I have every other day. I'm going for the Corso emblem. Please, can I get any better luck? There's no fucking way. You gave me so the idea is that you have a chance to get like up to five per shot and it just gave me one every single time that's sick hold in all right let's go in your reverse behind the eight ball i think i can I think I can reverse behind the eight ball. It's the one where you go around your thumb and then transition to your first finger, right? I think you could do it, Jacob. I think anyone can do Valley Cop as long as you're able to get over the uh, stress of flipping a live blade in front of all those people. Which is the reason I would never be able to do it. I may be a YouTuber, but that don't mean I can get up in front of a giant crowd like that and flip a live blade. I mean, I could flip a live blade, but I couldn't do it well. Valley Comp live blade only? Yes, sir. about the whole living in Canada thing? What do you mean? Oh, like how you're gonna take a live blade? Yeah, that'll be tough. Maybe you have to borrow one from a friend that you meet up with. Didn't Max Ace give everyone... Max Ace gave everyone something. I don't think it was a Serpent Striker. All right, what are we looking at? We need an attacker, but we also need a defender. And a support. I'll play, play Hoopa. No, you're going support? Play Udro. Do we fuck with that? All right, I'll fuck with that. I fuck with that. I just bought Gujar today, actually. How early would I have to get up to get an Ami? Very early. 
And you need early bird tickets. I don't want to wake up at 6 EST. Uh, you're going to have to, I think. There's usually people waiting outside at like 4 or 5. But I would ask someone who's actually like done that process before because I haven't. Oh, I didn't mean to steal that torch. Sorry. Alright, fuck me, I guess. You drew my beloved. You good your fan? It's kinda based. Oh, zero or is here. Wait, we can kill him. We can kill him. We can kill him. We can kill him. Nice. I'm sorry, teammate. I overcommitted. Yeah. When's Blade Show? June. You get a new stuff. You get a chance to try new stuff at Blade Show and come back to purchase, or do you generally miss out if you don't buy after trying? Uh, it depends on the company. Like Squid has a lot of stock, so if it's not like a Nami or something, you'll probably be able to get something. But something like LDY. LDY had a partial booth last year, and LDY sold out very quick. Where did my team go? Hello? <laughs> I'm getting fucked up in lane on our own goal. And Buskin's just fucking hanging out over here. Shout out. Muskin. What, what the fu- Okay. This- this is not going well. Just get me out of here. This guy's level 8? Oh my god, that's- if we kill him, we get so much XP. Well, we're not gonna be able to. Damn. Ah, uh, Combuskin, please, my brother. It was a big if. Yeah, I know. I know. This game is not going well. We're locked out of XP. We have a fucking Gengar. One of the worst characters in the game right now in our in our jungle. No, oh, Altaria is still here at least. Blaziken, the fuck. Where do you get all that fucking health back from? Please, please, please. Thank you, focus band. Holy shit. Nice. Gengar, you don't need backup. Just don't run in alone. That's all you gotta do.
Oh, he's actually winning, though. Okay, fine. No, oh, I'm not, though. <laughs> you guys fans of the Gumi family? Okay. The Nami is very good. Like, I don't think you'd be disappointed by the Nami. But at this, at the same time, 750 is a lot. That's that's plenty of other Bellasons you get at Blade Show. Ah, this is a game that I am currently participating in. If we're ordering new hardware for the Impusa, I mean, I can't now because he doesn't sell it. I don't think. Fucking unite you if I have to, Caesar. I didn't. I fat fingered that. That's fine. Okay. What are your growls slash growl? Good question. Something from Stitch for sure. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, look who's back. Not having a good time this time, let's see, Zor. My whole team, my whole team just died. Okay, goodbye. His name I persecution is it like iPhone? Okay, it just isn't working. Blaze again. Oh, great. Our, no, we lose this game. Our team's dead. It's Rayquaza. I guess I could try and steal it, but I don't think I can as Gudra. And these guys see me. I surrender. Alright, whatever. That was a bad game all around. Oh, nice, Jacob. Nami, Cygnus, Solo, Alpha Beast, Rep. Alpha Beast, Rep's interesting. Although, I guess I used to have an Alpha Beast as my girl, so I understand. Wow, what a dog shit match this has been. Can we surrender, please? Chat. What a I love how it's buried in three different menus. It's super cool. Never tried any of them? Oh, really? Okay. Oh, we're just AFK?
I don't want to forfeit, but I'm perfectly happy to be AFK. <laughs> Fuck you. <coughs> Man, I did not- I don't think I scored at all that game. Yeah, didn't score at all. And I still didn't do the worst on my team, that's crazy. No, that's definitely why. Yo, good job, Skull. Good work. Good work, Skull. Look at how funky... I love... No, Gujar's great. will be quite the experience if you haven't tried all your growls yet. Okay, what the fuck is this team comp? Do we have a jungler? Does anyone want to go jungle? I don't like any characters that we have in the jungle. Okay, that's a better jungler. This is what we're doing. I feel like if I got a Slift tea, I'd be chilling on knives for a while. Definitely my next one. Hell yeah, dude. Love the Slift tea. Okay, this game's gonna be really bad. <laughs> this game's gonna go poorly. I also just bought Hoopa today, so I don't really understand how to play him. Hey, have a good one, Skull. Sleep well. Hello? Where's... Where are my lane partners? I hate people who don't communicate where they're going. I think the one guy who didn't communicate where he was going, who was supposed to come down here, just went top. Like, it's the least you could do. It is the least you could do. Oh, fuck. We'll take one of their berries, though. Thank you. Got one. assist in this game so much. We should probably turn it off. That would be smart.
Since the last stream I caught, I got a five people into flipping and three either got a canyon or a hydra. Oh, that's sick, dude. I feel like we're just at a standstill here. You guys don't want to do anything. We don't want to do anything. Ooh. Wait, so get the get the Lucario, bro. Okay. My bad teammate, yes. God, Lucario is fucking annoying. Get his ass. What the fuck? Didn't realize we could do that much damage to him. Did not mean to do that, but it's okay. Come on, you guys win that fight, right? Lucario made when I played. Ooh, I take back what I said. Actually, no, I don't. No, Lucario's fucking annoying. I feel like Hoopa's like super sick if you can learn how to use him. Zero Aura, come... I also feel like your teammates half the time don't know what Hoopa does. Yeah. That's my bad. My fault, original gangster. Is this game more or less toxic than League? I have no idea, because there's no way to communicate with your teammates. I mean, I think there's a voice chat, but I have it off at all times. Nice. 
Oh, I wish teammates knew what fucking hoop I did. Someone please go through this and heal yourself. Damn. Oh my god, Rayquaza's up. Oh, I'm so dumb. I need to keep an eye on the clock. For some reason when I'm streaming, my brain cells that usually go towards playing this game go towards streaming and I just become really dumb. Is that a Rift Herald? I don't know what that is. And we lose. GG. Guys, why are we saying no? There's there's physically no way for us to win. Yeah, have fun making it all the way over there and scoring in 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. I always see you do something similar and finally found a tutorial. You should check it out. Super simple trick that's super fun. I always do something similar? Wow, how was I the second best performer on my team? I had 15 assists? Oh my god. Our fucking Bell Fox went crazy. Fan reverse fan type combo? Gotcha. I got a camera, but right after there was a whole week of literally no sun. Overcast days provide some of the best lighting, Mina. Alright, we don't have a jungler. I'm, I'm playing jungle. No, Venusaur does not belong in the jungle, bro. God, I'm... Venusaur in the jungle? Venusaur in the jungle. Kill me. <laughs> Please. Put me out of my misery. No, dude, don't go Zero Aura. We've already got a jungler. Oh my god. <laughs> I fucking hate this game. <laughs> now Zara, Aura, and Venusaur are gonna fight over the jungle like children. And we're gonna be down a player, essentially. So, okay, so for everyone who's unfamiliar with this game, there's three lanes. There's top lane, there's jungle, and there's bottom lane. You typically... And by typically, I mean every single game, you want two people in the top lane, one person in the jungle, two people in the bottom lane. 
There are very specific Pokemon that are good in the jungle for very specific reasons, and Bulbasaur is not one of those Pokemon. Bulbasaur is very, barely good, period. Yep, look at them. You can see them in the top left. They're both just in the jungle, fighting each other for XP, and Torchic is alone in the bottom. Oh my god, this game. This game makes me want a lot of things. Well, we can get him, Eevee, actually. Yeah, good shit, Eevee. At least my lane partner's doing something. Get him. Nice. I don't think I can save you here, though. Oh my god. Wait, I'm actually sick with it? Oh, look, there's our jungler who's supposed to be higher level than everyone else in the lobby, but he isn't because he's too busy fighting over XP with a different teammate. The whole point of jungle is that there's more XP in there than anywhere else in the map, so you just kind of you kind of level up really quickly, and then you go help your lane, your people in lane, get kills, and then you go back and you farm more. So like, you always kind of want to have an XP advantage, which he doesn't. Now Combuskin's in the fucking jungle. What is happening? He has to come up and steal our lane XP because he's under level. Kill me. At least this guy's under level two. Come here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Trevenant? Shit. Talk about one of the most annoying fucking Pokemon in this entire game. God damn it! I ate the berry! Where was my health? Yeah, you see how that Talonflame's level 10? That's what a jungler's supposed to look like. Dear God. No, oh, fuck off, Lucario. Yeah, I got one at least. There you got bottom lane. Jacob's ladder? Am I supposed to do this vertically or horizontally? Vertically. Horizontal ladders are tough. This is just quite possibly one of the most confusing games I've ever been a part of.
Now we're all fighting bottom path? What the fuck is going on? We're just team fighting in our jungle. Fuck off, Trevenant. God, me when I'm being in a fucking annoying contest, my opponent is Trevenant. Yeah, out of every game, this is definitely one of them. I'm not saying I'm doing amazing, but... Neither is anyone else in this lobby. Fighting down there, fuck that. Are you going to the next Blade Show, Texas? No shot. Why? Because I I can't afford to just go to Texas. Like that is expensive and costs money. Will is going? No. But also, the next Blade Texas is like fucking a year away. I doubt anyone knows if they're going or not. Let's kill this. This Talon Flame's level 15. Welcome to what a jungler should fucking look like. Generally, when they hit the one in Atlanta. Will and Brandon generally hit either Texas or Atlanta, but sometimes they don't. I also died right before two minutes again because I'm fucking stupid. And I use my Unite moves. So I, man, dude, I can't play this game when I'm streaming. Get away that easy. It doesn't matter. No, we need to kill the Plaza. Uh, <laughs> of course, my attacks just go away. We got Rayquaza, though. Come on, guys, go score. Zara, what was the plan, bro? You didn't have a shield. You couldn't have scored anyway. Don't worry, Venusaur is not AFK. Oh, no, you don't. Venusaur, do you think? Okay, I guess Venusaur is AFK. Oh, there he is. Now he jumps in. if we lost that. Will you come to Slade Show North? 
Nah, that's every day. Wow. Oh, my God. Nine assists, I barely scored. Carried on our backs by fucking these two who understand how to play the game. Well, our two junglers. Two junglers, I have to say that. God, this game. I hate that this game is the only thing that scratches the MOBA itch for me because my god is it infuriating. This is the last game. I would like to play a character that isn't a defender or a support. That'd be cool. I'd like to play jungle. I'm good at jungle. Gengar, please. <laughs> uh... No, I'm playing Dragonite. I, I can't. I can't fill support again. <coughs> I'll go top path if you blast this. What does that leave on the bottom? Does they join Sylveon? That's yeah, fine. Actually, Sylveon, do you want to switch? No. Probably would have been better for me to go bottom path. Um, yeah, Gengar. So I've watched like one YouTuber play this game, but he made a tier list and I think Gengar was at the very bottom of the list. So that's cool. This game does like an okay job at balance because most characters are like okay. I think there were like three, three enemies or three Pokemon in D tier and one of them was Gengar. faith in this Blastoise, though. Wow, we cleared that real quick. Got a Cramorant. Cramorant's kind of scary. Is it just Cramorant? Hunter's coming up to help us secure the people that will spawn in three, two, one. Yeah, fuck you, come here. Come here. Come here, bitch. Fuck you. You probably should get out of here, man. No, nope. you just push the. Yeah, smart. God, you're so lucky. Please leave. No, don't. He's gonna do it again. Okay. <laughs> this is what we're dealing with. Oh, and he's dead. <laughs> This is what we're dealing with, man. I don't get it. Come here. All 
Okay, that was my fault. I forgot Cramorant is really good at range. I'm coming, War Turtle. Oh, you can't do shit about this, dude. Kramer, it's level 8, Silver is level 6, yeah, we're fucked up. Uh, level 7, that's not bad. Alright, we're going outrage. Okay, just just fucking get me out of here, please. Okay. Dude, I'm gonna fucking How did he not die? Please kill me where I fucking stand. This is so ridiculous. Kill the fucking Lucario! I'm so pissed. I'm so pissed. How? 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 I love being stunned for fucking six seconds straight when that guy's one health. That was sick. I didn't even know Azumarill was in this game, I'm gonna be real with you. We just completely broke down in top lane, it's crazy. We lost all of top lane. No, we're not surrendering. Blastoise. I... Blastoise somehow survived down there. Come here, you little bitch. Didn't he just use his alt? What?
Telekinesis Slowbro is crazy. I'm using my ult to run away, I don't even care. I do not even care. And of course I use my ult right before the two minute fight. <laughs> Pokemon League, essentially. Three of their team is dead. Wait, let's kill Rayquaza. Ooh, Slowbro had the same idea, it seems. Just take care of that really quick, shall we? Telekinesis. What an infuriating move. GG. You know what? No. Grimorak, come here. Thank you. T let's give you a taste of what you gave me earlier. Fuck you. <laughs> it's so cathartic when you catch up on experience and you fucking just start destroying people. Wanted more. Fuck you. Can't telekinesis move me dead. Okay, what? Why did you target that? <sighs> what does telekinesis do? That's what Slowbro was doing that was lifting me up in the air and just holding me there. Him and Umbreon, Umbreon has a move that just traps you in place. Like, it creates a circle on the ground and you can't leave. That's also a really fucking annoying move. I'm doing one more. Actually, no. No, I'm not. I'm ending on a good note for once. <laughs> No, I'm ending on a good note. We're done. I need to actually mess around with these emblems. You can make like loadouts that change your stats. I have no idea what's good or what's bad. A recommended loadout? Interesting. All right, chat. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me. Sorry it wasn't a very high energy or like normal Ethan stream. But I uh, hope you had a good time nonetheless. I'll be back sometime this week. I don't know when for an actual Battle Song stream. We have a lot of stuff to go over. Uh, and catch me on Blade Bias tomorrow for the I Spent a Week with the Chroma V3 video. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.